Matthew Vickers um, is the baby daddy. Uh, sorry, is the daddy of Ralph's son's mother. Uh, and I may have to clarify this. I don't know how many people are listening that have never heard of Ralph. And if I sound like I'm melting, it's because I am melting right now. Just so you know. I suffer from my art, is what I'm trying to say. Respect me. Matthew Vickers um, has been involved in civil litigation against Ethan Ralph for a number of months, probably over a year now. Um, his house is going through foreclosure. His uh, estate, he is technically bankrupt. He's divorced his wife. It remains to be seen if this is like an actual divorce where they like are splitting apart or if they're divorcing for financial reasons, which is apparently like a common strategy in bankruptcy proceedings. Um, so recently he stopped showing up to his uh, civil hearings, and as a result it has been dismissed sua sponte for lack of uh, pr prosecution. And now uh, he's going out into Twitter, and it remains to be seen if this is actually like real or if he's just shit posting he's coped in response to someone describing that the case has been dismissed with this as per the settlement agreement i will be giving ethan ralph his bloody shirt back and ralph agreed to give me all copyrighted ownership of faith's sex tape so we have here a framed because uh, uh, a bunch of ralph shit was left behind when he went to mexico it appears that vickers found the shirt where he was getting pummeled in the streets of, of Portugal and has framed this and hangs this on his wall. And for whatever reason, Ralph wanted this shirt back. I guess he really likes this shirt. So Vickers will be sending this shirt over to him in, um, uh, in Mexico. Um, now in response, I guess in return for this, and I, again, I can't tell if he's being serious or not. Um, he's asked for the copyright to Faith's sex tape, and that's because I believe he intends to DMCA it. He's going to try and get it removed from the internet by applying the DMCA. So, I should tell you guys, um, as I have not received any DMCA from Vicious Vickers, if you have any intention um, to uh keep a copy of this you may want to make your own personal archives of it now because he's probably going to go on a dmca spree in the near future if my if this is true and if um uh if my suspicion is correct now i'll remind you that fair use is fair use but you have to like actually make it fair use you can't just re-upload it I mean, technically you can, and then he has to re-DMCA it. That's a, that's a thing that you can do, theoretically. I would never encourage that because that's um, ostensibly copyright infringement if you don't think that your re-upload would make it fair use. Um, but I'm just letting you know that Vicious Vickers thinks he's very, very smart and thinks that what he's going to do is not going to blow up in his face um, if he does this. Uh, I, I'm not threatening him. I'm just saying that the Streisand effect is very real, and if you start sending DMCAs around... It's a very good way to make a lot of people hate you very quickly, as a thought. Um, and of course, I will obviously verify um, any claims of copyright ownership. Uh, and I will not believe you until I have proof of this. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!